Hi guys, it's writing time, my favorite time of the day. And for writing time today, the goal is to use our narrative writing checklist to make sure our writing is powerful and easy to read. And we want to focus on making sure that our story has a beginning, a middle, and end. And I'm going to run real quick through our writing checklist before we get our writing out. So we want to make sure in our writing we told about who was there, we told about what happened, we showed how the characters felt in the story, we drew and wrote some details about what was happening, we had a page that showed what happened first, we put our pages in order, we showed what happened last in our story, and we had a, begin, a page for the beginning, middle, and end, and that's what we're focusing on. And then you can also make sure your writing's easy to read just by making sure you could read your own writing. That you wrote letters for all the sounds you heard when you were sounding out and stretching words. That you used your word wall to help you spell that you put spaces between your words when you were writing your sentences, that you use lowercase letters unless you needed capitals, and that you started every sentence with a capital. And then one other thing I want you to try to make sure is to make sure you have a period, an exclamation mark, or a question mark when you were ending your sentence. Every sentence needs an ending mark. So I'm going to get my story out just to look over it. The first thing you do is practice reading it, rereading it in your best, best storyteller voice. Over fall break, I took my kids to Hawking Hills. When we got there, we drove around the mountain to look for the trails. We wanted to find all the best places to hike. We found five trails that looked really cool. Two of the trails had waterfalls. We love waterfalls. Eli got sick and tried to puke out the window, but he got it on him and his sisters. His sisters started to scream. They yelled, this is disgusting. I said, oh no. We went back to the cabin to clean up. The kids all took showers and I scrubbed the van. It was a disgusting trip that we loved. So I'm gonna focus on this page right now. Because I noticed when I was reading it that I don't have a capital here. So I'm just gonna use my handy dandy eraser and make a capital letter because we start all our sentence with capitals. And I like my spaces, but I notice I need some more ending marks because every time you're done with a thought, you need a period. We went back to the cabin to clean up and I need an ending mark, I'm done with that thought. The kids all took showers and I scrubbed the van and I need another ending mark, I'm done with that thought. But remember, that our focus today is to make sure we have a beginning, middle, and end. Let me make sure I do. So let's see. I started out by telling you what we did first. Then I told you what we did second. And then I told you what happened last. So we did have a beginning, middle, and end. Oh, that got me to thinking. I think I could change some stuff in my story. I could add this word and I'm just going to use this little handy dandy carrot and I'm going to put the word first. First, when we got there, we drove around. And then when I turn the next page, I'm going to put then. Then Eli got sick. And then for my ending, I'm going to put 
after that, we went back. It's okay to add things in the writing process. It doesn't have to look neat or perfect. You just have to be able to read it. So I want you to reread your writing. Make sure you have a beginning, middle, and end. And if there's anything you need, you see that need to, needs to be fixed or changed, go ahead and do it. And I want all of you to have a fabulous weekend. I wish you all well.